When you start a new Revit drawing, there are some essential settings that you need to make to ensure you don't end up with issues later in your project. So in this video, Paul Muhindi will show you the step-by-step -step method of making these exact settings in your new Revit project. Now, some of the settings that we'll do in a new project are choosing template, assigning project information, setting project units, setting structural and MEP settings, setting levels, setting grids, creating title block, and managing template settings. So with that, let's get started. So after you've launched your software, and in this case, you're using the Autodesk Revit 2024, the first thing that you're gonna have to do is to select the correct Revit project template. And where do you find it? You just simply navigate to the left side of your software, click on new, and from here, you'll find this pop-up window. And this is crucial because this is basically the foundation of your project, which comes with predefined settings. So if you're working on an architectural project or design, you're gonna select the architectural template. If you're working on a structural one, you're gonna select the structural one. If you're working on the mechanical, electrical systems, plumbing, etc., you're gonna specify the one that you're working on. And if you cannot find the one that you want from here, you can just simply click on browse, and from this explorer area, you can specify the one that you wanna work with. So for our case, I'll just click on cancel, then I'll select the architectural template, and then I'll make sure I select on project, then click on okay. Once we do that, you'll find that it has opened the specific template or the new project, and the name given is project one, because we have not saved it. So the next thing that we simply do is to assign the project information. And how do we do this? You simply navigate to the manage tab, from the Manage tab, you'll find the Settings panel. From here, you'll find this fourth option from left, the Project Information. So once you click on this once, you can be able to specify the organization's name that you're working for. For this case, you can, let's say, write source code. And then you can specify, let's say, the building name, the author, say, who's working on it. So let's say, Paul Mohindi. You can give the issue date, let's say, when it was issued, let's say, 2024, 10, 10, something of the say or the states, you can say if it's in progress or something of the sort. So you can give all this information from here as well as the owner of the project. Once you do that, you just simply click on OK and it will be saved in the project. The third thing that you're going to do is set the project units. So how are we going to do this? Still under the Manage tab, you'll find the settings panel, then you'll find the project unit or simply hit on UN on your keyboard. And if you're interested to know so many other shortcuts, kindly make sure to check down in the description. We have a completely free ebook with more than 200 keyboard shortcuts that you can be able to refer to. So from here, you can select the discipline. The first one is common where you can set the angle, area, distance, so on and so forth. Let's say for distance, I wanna work with millimeters. I'll select millimeters. You can specify the rounding off if you want. I want it to be zero decimal places. For your case, if you're working with Mad Imperial, you can select, let's say, feet, inches, so on and so forth. But for our case, we are working with millimeters. Then you can specify the symbol if you want, let's say millimeters or double M. But for our case, I want none, so I'll click on OK. So once satisfied, you can just simply click on this drop down list and you'll find so many other options. So if you're working on electrical project, you can specify the electrical settings from here. If you're working on energy, project you can specify the energy settings from here let's say the energy we don't want to use joules we want to use kilowatt hours and simply select here you can specify the symbols from here then you can click on okay is that easy to specify if you're working on hvac you can always select from here and so many other options if you want to select from here once that's done you just simply click on okay and it will be saved within your project the fourth thing that we usually do is check the relevant settings. Still under the Manage tab and under the Settings panel, you're gonna find these settings over here. Let's say if you're working on a structural project, you can just simply click on Structural Settings, click on Structural Settings again, specify the symbolic representation of the settings, let's say the brace, the beam trusses. So this is basically the cutback distance that you're gonna be used uh, like symbolically in the project, the columns as well. You can specify the bracing symbols, all these options you can be able to find from here. You can also create your member type connections from here by clicking new and also loading new ones into the project. If you're working with different load cases, you can uh, select the ones that you have here. You can duplicate, you can delete. You can also add the load 
natures if you want from here. And if you're interested to learn about Revit Structural, we have a course coming up real soon. And the next thing is about load combinations. You can specify from here and so many other settings on structural settings. Once you're satisfied, you just simply click on close. If you're working on ME projects, you just simply select here, navigate to mechanical, electrical, fabrication settings, so on and so forth. Even P and ID settings, you can always find them from here and you can be able to load the pipe accessories, the pipe itself, the equipment, so on and so forth. So that's the biggest advantage about Revit. It's a multidisciplinary software where you can have many uh, disciplines working on the same project and still reaching the same goal. So the first thing that we usually check is basically about setting up your levels and your grid lines. So to set up your levels, you just simply navigate either to the architecture tab, if you're working on an architectural project, or if you're working on a structural project, you click on structural or structure, and you'll find the datum panel as well. So under the structure tab is still there, under the architectural tab is still there, and this is where you find level and grid. But you'll find that levels is usually grayed out in the floor plan view, so what you need to do is just simply navigate to elevations under the project browser. You're gonna just open the tree and then just open any elevation that you have and you're gonna see the levels and now the option is active. So to add it is quite simple, just click on it and then you can be able to add the levels that you want before you start the final design. Let's say from that point up to around that point and that's the way you simply add your levels and you can also use Dynamo to add levels if you want but that's a bit more advanced. And for the grids, it's still the same thing. You simply navigate to grids or hit on GR on your keyboard to activate the grid shortcut. You can use the multi-segment and then you can specify your grid, the first point, the next point, and let's say the final point, right click, hit on cancel, hit on tick, and just like that, we have our first grid and we can always offset it if we want to create more grids. So that's simply how we set up our grids. The next thing that we simply have to do is set in our view templates. So under the view tab, you're gonna simply navigate to the view tab here and from the graphics panel, you'll find this option of view templates. So if I click on it once, we'll have this drop down option where we have three main settings to apply the template properties to the current view or to create a template from the current view or to manage the view templates. So for our case, we want to manage once I click on that, this window will pop up and from here I can specify in accordance to the discipline if it's architectural, structural, mechanical, so on and so forth, the specific options or properties that we want to work with. If you're working on foundations, we have certain information that we want to include or exclude, so you just simply select from here. So it, it's really easy to work with Revit because it includes all the various types of disciplines within the same project. And once you're satisfied, if you want to apply these specific properties, you can adjust from here, then hit on apply, or even create a new specific template if you want, or delete, or even rename in the case that you want. Once you've done that, the next thing you have to do is just selecting your title block. So still under the view template, you'll simply navigate to the sheet composition panel, and once you click on this sheet option, you're gonna find this pop-up window, which is called new sheet. So you can simply load title blocks into your project by clicking on this option, and it's gonna navigate to the specific parent folder. And for this case, I have it under the local directory that I have saved my software, Revit 2024 contents library, English UK. And from here, I'm just gonna search for title block. So title blocks from here, then you're gonna select the one that you want. If you wanna work with A1, A2, A3, and for my case, it's metric. For your case, it might be imperial, depends with the project that you're working on. I'll simply select it and I will click on open. And just like that, it will be added to this option here. And if I want to use it in future, I'll just simply click on okay and it will be added to the project. Once that's done, you will be ready to start your project. And if you want to learn how to create a completely standard project right from scratch, kindly make sure to check down in the description. I have linked a completely free course where we have used Revit to come up with a standard architectural project that you will 
totally enjoy. And the biggest question is, can you be able to change your specific template once you have started your project? The answer is yes. So for this case, we have this project here that we started the design using the architectural template. And once you want to change it, you just simply navigate to your specific uh, properties panel. From here, you'll find the discipline settings. And from here, you just click on this drop down, and then you can specify that you want. So for this case, if you wanna work with electrical, I'll simply select electrical, hit on apply, and just like that, we have changed the template. So that was all about making the essential settings in new Revit project. Which topic you want us to cover next? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.